In this walkthrough, we're going to look at how to add a pie chart to your app. Pie charts are really good ways to show a visual representation of records that are in your database. In this case, we're going to be dealing with restaurants, but you could certainly use this for trips or events or uh, books or music albums, anything that you want to, um, anything that can have categories, um, you can pretty much do this with. Um, so in this case, I'm just going to look at the database real quick. Um, and if you don't know much about databases or relationships, I highly, highly recommend that you go and look at the help guides on databases and relationships first, and then come back to the pie chart demo here. Uh, but I just have uh, the standard users collection here, and I've created a, a collection of restaurants. So I've just got a name, some relationships to a categories collection, and a relationship to some users. And underneath here, I've got a name and a re uh, relationship to the restaurants that these categories belong to. All right, so, uh, and these are many-to-many -many relationships uh, because restaurants can have may have multiple categories and obviously each category can you know have multiple restaurants that fall underneath it so that's kind of why we need them the many to many relationship here um, and if we look at these records uh, in the restaurants collection you can see that each of these restaurants has several different categories attached to it so for instance the sunrise grill is a breakfast and a cafe or ballpark dogs is just a food truck um, but I may want to add something like lunch here as well, because maybe people like hot dogs for lunch. Um, we don't really need uh, the user's uh, uh, property here, relationship for the pie chart specifically, but we're going to look at some different fi uh, filtering options as well uh, that you can use with this. All right. So it's important that you have your database set up correctly before you start using the pie chart. Uh, but to use the pie chart, I'm just going to go up here to the top left to this big add button. And down here at the very bottom, there's the marketplace. So I'm just going to click on explore marketplace. And if I scroll down just a little bit, uh, you will find a component in this massive components list uh, that you can install called chart kit. And the chart kit is actually made up of three different types of charts, the line uh, chart or graph, the bar chart and the pie chart. So I'm just going to click on install and then click done. And if I go under my installed tab over here on the left, you can see that it has installed all three of those different charts here. So to install the pie chart, I can click or click and drag this component into my app. And the pie chart is like a list in that it needs to be tied to a collection. And it may be tempting to make this a collection of restaurants, but really we're not displaying restaurants here. Uh, I actually want to display the categories and then count how many restaurants fall into each category. So to do this, I'm just going to set it as restaurant categories. And we'll look at this filtering in just a second, but we'll leave it on all for now. Uh, I prefer to show the the value the slice value. So each of these little wedges here, I'm going to show this as either just um, you know counting the number of restaurants. I can show it as a percentage of the total, or I can show it as none. Uh, so I don't show a value there at all. I'm just going to leave it on slice value so that it shows a count. And then the slice value here, this is actually going to be a count of the number of restaurants that are tied to each category. So to do this, I can just click on the magic text here. And you'll notice that this little this little subtitle here says current restaurant category. And this is in reference to whatever the category is for this specific wedge. Okay, so I want to count the number of restaurants tied to this category. So restaurants count. And the slice label, you can see it's kind of already selected one for me here. Um, but if it's not selected for you, you can actually use magic text again. And again, we have that option for current restaurant category. I want to use whatever that restaurant category's name is here. All right. Um, underneath that, we've got some options for adjusting the, the total number of slices that are visible. You can see that it's kind of reducing the, the 
the total wedges that we can see in the pie chart there. Um, and we can go up to six, a maximum of six here. I can also change the other slice label. Uh, so if there's too many categories to fit in here, all of the uh, ones that have the least will kind of all be bundled into this other category here. I can also change from monochromatic, which is kind of this color scheme based on your primary color, or perhaps a different color that you choose, or I can choose custom colors for every single wedge in the pie chart. I'm actually just gonna leave it on monochromatic for now. I can also add slice actions. So when a user actually clicks on one of these wedges in the pie chart, uh, I can have it perform maybe different actions or send information about that wedge to maybe another screen, which is really helpful. Uh, just note that the click actions are not available for this other slice that we have over here. Now that we have the pie chart set up, let's see what it actually looks like. So I'm going to click on the preview up here in the top right. And you can see that it has actually shaded this monochromatically, just like we set up. Uh, we've got a maximum of six uh, wedges or slices here. We have five restaurants that offer lunch, three that offer dinner, two that offer breakfast, two for cafe, and two for food truck, and zero that offer desserts. So sad. Um, and now a quick note about that filtering that I mentioned. Um, you can also set this, uh, the reason that I created a user's collection that was tied to the restaurant is, let's say that I'm on Yelp and I mark that I actually went to a restaurant. That restaurant now becomes a part of my history. And what I can do is set it up so that when a user clicks on their profile, they can see all of the different categories of restaurants that they've been to. And to show this information, um, now that we've got the relationship between the users and the restaurants, all I have to do is go in here and choose the logged in users restaurants, restaurant categories. And if I click on this, it's only going to show me the restaurant categories that I as a user have been to. So that's a quick rundown of the pie chart. I hope that was helpful for you.